Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another product review. This time on a QFX PBX88. Now I was sent this speaker here to review. It comes in this box here. It's quite a big box so I'll have to zoom down here to the bottom. This is a Bluetooth speaker, also has FM radio, the SD slot also USB so it can read mp3s from those file sources including auxiliary battery operated also has onboard LED for a little bit of a light show there this is an 8 inch woofer also a two way speaker design and also it's kinda nice show some pictures here they are with the person with the backpacks this also has a backpack feature we can carry it that way you don't have to but you can do it that way if you want and we'll go back up here to the top it comes in this big box so let me go ahead and open it up and get everything out and uh, we'll go over it from there okay we're going to go ahead and open this up here And we got the box open here. And in the box we have here a user manual. Check this out. Telling you a little bit about the operations. Looks like it's in multi-language. And this here seems to be a warranty card all right and this looks like it's a pole mount adapter of some sort and we have a power supply pretty straightforward here we have the backpack strap take out the styrofoam have the speaker here so let me go ahead and pause this and I'll go ahead and get it out and let's take a look at it all right now I got the speaker out of the box and I went ahead and undid the tape at the bottom of the box we're just going to go ahead and lift this up and that's all there is to it now as we can see here we've got some controls here up on the top push button. Looks like one here for mode, forward and backwards. And I'm not really sure what these are. Looks like play and record. Here's the front of the speaker. So what we'll do is I'll get a little bit better angle on this speaker here so we can take a look at it. Okay, now that we got the camera here a little bit better angle, you can kind of see there is a horn tweeter here and we'll lower the camera here a little bit and there's the 8 inch woofer here and I also notice down at the very bottom of the cabinet here by the label is two ports that'll help out with the the base here seems like a pretty t tough metallic grill here on the front of the speaker it's got some chrome little details at the very bottom there as you can see down here and then it also has here at the top, right there. 
So now let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the speaker. And this is the back side of the speaker. As you see, it's got two handles here on the top and the bottom of the speaker. See down here at the bottom, you have another one. Pretty nice. Now as far as the dials are concerned, you have a display. So now the back of the speaker here, we have echo, mic one and two volumes, which is nice. You've got your RCA outputs and inputs. You've got 12 volt battery leads here for extended run times or if you want to hook it up to your car battery. Then down here you've got your mic inputs as well as one output. You have your volume controls here, separate bass and treble, and you also have your master control volume here, right here. Here you have the auxiliary input, you have the USB input where you can read a little SD card as well. So it's nice to be able to hook up a little flash drive, something that has quite a bit of space put all your music on. Now this here is your panel, also has your LCD display where you can play your music as well as your FM radio. Does have an antenna here, so it'll help you bring in those hard to reach stations, which is nice. Down at the very bottom of the cabinet, you have your power input to charge the battery, power switch itself. Down here at the very bottom there is a battery door and I'll be checking that out later. Won't be posting anything but uh, if there's a way to upgrade the batteries I will be doing that later at another point. But that's what that back panel looks like. Now with this cabinet it's kind of nice. You've got tons of different placement options. Here as you can see there are four feet on each side of the cabinet except for the top and the back. So you can basically lay this down on its side. And that's what it looks like on its side. So you've got a lot of placement options on that which is really nice. I'm liking the way that looks. So now let's go ahead and get this situated where we can go ahead and play some music. Non-copyrighted that is. and. Uh, see how it sounds. We're going to do some outdoor testing of this at higher volumes, but let's go ahead and get it started see what it sounds like right now. Okay, now that I've got the micro SD card in here, which is actually pretty cool, I'm going to go ahead and power it on here. And it looks like it's starting to play already from the SD card as a both speaker going, playing to the music, the lights bounce to the music. And the reason why I'm saying that they're bouncing to the music, when you actually pause the speaker, this is what happens. It just goes into a glowing feature, you now it's got red, blue, green. So it's pretty interesting. And I'll give you a full shot of what that looks like there. All right, we'll get back to playing the music here. And as you can see, the buttons light up on the top. It's actually pretty nice got an area here on the top, a slot where you can put your cell phone in there. Pretty cool. 
cabinet is pretty rugged as far as the ABS plastic, which is pretty nice. around we're going to go through the modes here and we have here the FM station pause so it looks like the antenna does help out a little bit here play some music here without getting too much copyright so that's kind of show you the FM radio then you have line in which is for auxiliary or microphone whichever one you want to use including the RCA inputs so now we're going to go to the mm -hmm. other one here there's Bluetooth and we'll go over Bluetooth in the outdoors see how it sounds and we'll hit this here one more time and it looks like it starts off right where it left off. Now the display is pretty clear. It is on the smaller side. So when you're looking at, it's actually just showing you the actual minute countdown of your song. It doesn't have any information telling you what song, the name of the song, or anything like that, but that's okay not a real big deal uh, normally I play my music randomly so as far as the ruggedness of this case feels pretty good uh, the back panel here is plastic as well so let's go ahead and turn it up a little bit and you see the volume is not even that that high that is got a really nice sound to this. It's actually got a pretty nice bottom end on that, considering it only is an 8 inch woofer. Lights are definitely interesting. Now it being flashing all this time, let me go ahead and pause this here so I can go ahead and finish talking here. As far as the sound so far is at this low volume, sounds pretty good. Okay, so now the lights may be a problem for some people not really bothering me too much but it could lower your overall battery life now especially if you're outside carrying this around you're on battery power you want the battery to last as long as it can and the lights aren't necessary in my opinion so that's the only con that I have as far as the speaker is concerned uh, sound quality sounds pretty good here and the straps are real easy again to put on literally just velcro on here once you do that and once you got that hooked up on the top and the bottom, you can easily adjust these straps for any length for anybody to carry. And you've got this as a portable backpack speaker. And the backpack material for the strap feels in good quality. And it is padded. So that's kind of nice. 
Just thought I'd show that to you here. This one definitely has a, a deeper bass. A nice little bottom end on this. But it's still tight. It's not boomy in any way. So now let's get a reading here from 25 or 20 feet away. Some good uh, frequency response is clear, it's not too harsh, even though this is a horn tweeter on it. Quite impressive, actually.
Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those outdoor tests. This thing can play loud. <laughs> I've got to hand it to QFX. This thing can play pretty darn loud. Speaker quality, sound quality is very good. Overall build quality of this unit feels very rugged. There's no complaints there. But I took the battery compartment door off, looked at it. The batteries are two 18650s in there at only 1200 milliamps, 7.4 volts. Not very much run time on that. That explains that. Number two, you can easily upgrade it to a lot higher amp, uh, milliamp that is, to be able to get better run time on the speaker. So that's something I'm going to be doing in the near future. As far as everything works fine, I don't see any issues as far as the easy access buttons on the top. Really nice. Kind of wish this had a remote. Would have been nice for, you know, not having to go up to the speaker each time. If you don't like a song, you just hit the remote. But doesn't have a remote. That's another drawback. So you got three drawbacks for that. As far as everything else is concerned, the looks of the cabinet are nice. Nice style and design. Everything feels very good. Looks like it's going to uh, be something that I'm going to be using around the house as well as outdoors when I'm working out there. Now I want to thank QFX for sending me this to review. Now if this is something you want to get or are interested in looking into pricing on, they are running for about $75. I will leave a link in the description to their Amazon store and that way you can get this to you shipped quickly. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this Bluetooth speaker review. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of speakers to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.